And that's just it. The spiritual court is going to make the ruling here. They already know what they're going to decide here based on the evidence. But these angelic beings, they need to hear straight from the two of you. So you guys are going to be in spiritual court. Spiritual court is in session. Bridge. That bridge was supposed to be crossed a long time ago. We were already supposed to be in the 5D New Earth. So if this, if I'm reading this correctly, this person right here, they're in massive trouble. And they really think that you're in love with them or you really want something with them. But their time is up with this judgment. And that's what's causing them to take this reckless leap of faith towards you, okay? They're really mad and annoyed that the only way they feel they're going to be able to get you to talk to them is if they come in and apologize. They feel like you want an apology. And they feel like they ain't done nothing wrong against you. Are you welcome back to the channel? If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the Leechy link. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read from my Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Okay, so let's see if this read is a lot better than the previous one. Because the previous one was rough. Okay, we have Cancer, the Moon, and the Chariot. <clears throat> then we have South Node on the side. Then we have number four on the side, Emperor on the side. Aries energy, Mars getting ready to station direct. Somebody's washing you on the side. Five of Wands, okay. And the Page of Cups. Damn, I was really hoping this read would have been a lot better. <laughs> well, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Somebody has like an obsession with you, Leo, but they don't want to. Somebody's mad. Somebody from your past is mad with you because they feel like you want an apology and they feel like they ain't done nothing wrong against you like they they feel like you want an apology here and that that's the only way that <clears throat> that's the only way to keep you from ending the cycle completely like some basically is somebody here that's like mad they're upset like they don't want to have to apologize to you with the page of cups like, they don't want to have to apologize. They don't see anything wrong with what they did here with the Five of Wands. Like, they don't understand why you're mad or you're upset with them. Okay? This, this is what I'm getting, y'all. And, like, they don't want to lose you for good. So they're willing to communicate some type of apology here, even if it's half A-S-S-E-D. But at the same time, it's like... It's almost like they would charge you for it after like later in the connection like by doing something or by causing drama or by starting an argument so this is somebody that's like toxic and you don't even need to accept anything from them four of swords king of wands on the side yeah <clears throat> and queen of wands The Empress, Page of Pentacles, oh my goodness, y'all, the fool, don't be a fool now, Leo, okay, I gotta, I gotta call it how it is, don't be a fool, because you're this Empress energy, and a Page of Pentacles doesn't have squat to offer you, okay, we're just gonna be honest. 
a page of pentacles doesn't have squat to offer you okay there is nothing there that they can offer you this is you and this is them whether it's financially emotionally spiritually uh, mentally or in all other aspects okay i'm really getting this like you are the prize you are the good fortune you see how it says good fortune there you're the prize you bring the good luck but look here it, 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 I really feel like it's this king of wands on the side that, you know, they're trying to do this thing with you, but they have a queen of wands. You know, like, it, it's just four of swords here. Like, they want to be able to... bed you on the side like like i don't know how else to say it like they want to be able to have you on the side when they please while being committed to this queen of wands so they're coming towards you with this full energy and they really think that you're in love with them or you really want something with them leo but i'm telling y'all like they're really mad and annoyed that the only way they feel they're going to be able to get you to talk to them as if they come in and apologize. Because I'm telling you, this individual feels like they did nothing wrong. They feel like they didn't do anything wrong. That, you know, you're holding a grudge for no reason. And it's annoying them. But they don't want to lose you, but they don't want to commit to you either. So, Ace of Pentacles, Spare saying yes. Knight of Cups. What is this Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles there? Can you clarify? Temperance, King of Swords, but the Seven of Swords. This is love bombing, y'all. Don't do it, Leo. Don't fall for it. Yeah, three of wands, because the third party is going to always be there. Page of Cups. Th this, this is a scheme. Three of Swords. Hierophant. This, this Hierophant Three of Swords is the karmic. With the Three of Wands, that's the karmic energy. And they know this individual, this karmic allows this individual to pursue whoever. But this karmic is one of those, like, as long as you come home to me, we're good. This karmic is nervous about this individual approaching you. But at the end of the day, this karmic knows that this individual is always going to come back home to them. Like, this, this is so, this is disgusting, like, this is just sick. Queen of Wands, yeah. Like, the Queen of Wands is falling over the over the Empress. Like, this karmic knows at the end of the day, when the sun goes down, that this individual is always going to come back home to them. The devil. Okay? Karmic connection with the Nine of Cups. Uh, a lust-filled connection. Okay? At that. One that's built off of... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Well, you, you can never have... Too much good, you know what. But the point I'm making here, I feel like it's more open. They're more flexible. Or that's what this karmic allows. So, at the end of the day, they're okay with this. But you may not be okay with this. You may not be okay with sharing your, your counterpart. Because I'm really getting this is your counterpart, Leo. So, they're coming in to love bomb you and tell you everything that you want to hear. Everything. Like, they're going to say everything right. But behind the facade is just a Knight of Cups offer at best. Promising you the world. But I also feel like it's motivated because of what you have been able to attain here with in regards to your finances. So this is a false. This, this is a farce, y'all. This is fake. This isn't real. 
Yeah, Seven of Swords, I'm telling y'all. You, you, you can tell something's up because the Seven of Swords is not fully upright. It is going to fall almost crossing. But you can tell something's up with this individual. You, you can feel it right when they come in with their energy. So y'all already going to know. Yeah, Two of Swords. Y'all already know what you need to do. Just block that and keep moving. Okay? Somebody's feeling a bit sentimental. You know, it's the new year. They don't want you to get any ideas of moving forward and investing with somebody else. You know, taking off into the sunset. They, they, you know, they want to hold on to you forever. But their time is up with this judgment. And that's what's causing them to take this reckless leap of faith towards you, okay? This fallen twin flame. Night fool, knight of laws, knight of swords, and then the the emperor. But you need to not engage with anything that this individual has to offer you with the strength card. You see how the angel is holding the lion's mouth shut. Like your angel is saying, don't even speak. Okay? Don't even speak to this individual. Keep your mouth quiet. Okay? Because Leos can go off. Leos can cuss somebody out. They can handle somebody. But this is not the time nor the place. Do not engage. This engage completely. Okay? Don't mention anything. Leave this individual on red or on scene. Or just, you know, have them call until, you, you know, they can't call anymore. Because that's done and over with. Nine of Swords with the Six of Cups. That cycle is being closed out. Like, Leo, you know, I, I get here. Somebody thought like they would be able to come to you whenever. That you would just always be there. That they'd be able to gain access to you. But Six of Swords is there. That, that they're going to be forced to move to calmer waters. Because that's over and done with. And Spare is saying yes. With the Eight of Wands. So let bygones be bygones. But look, this individual, this is why. This is why they're doing this. They don't want you to have the Ten of Pentacles with anybody. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups? They don't want to see you celebrating with somebody else. Like, this is, this is insane. This is nuts, y'all. Like, this is honestly nuts. This... You need to do a really big return to sender and, and you know, because your your love life will be halted. Oh, you don't need to do anything because judgment is going to be cast here. Your angels will cast the judgment. They're going to cast the final blow. Yep, temperance with the world. That cycle's over with the lovers and the star and the six of pentacles. Oh, this is the spiritual court hearing all over again. You may want to watch the Libra read. Y'all about to be summoned to spiritual court. Y'all about to be summoned to spiritual court here. Like why? They're, they're asking why you guys are in union. They're going to be asking. I feel like they're mainly asking this person. But they will also ask you for your side of the story. So this is like. The elders and the galactic federation of light. Y'all that they're, they're, they're asking y'all. They're asking y'all why you and your divine counterpart aren't together when that was already supposed to happen years ago, I'm hearing. Like, what happened? What went down? What's the issue? They want they want the details straight from the both of you. So the both of you are going to be summoned in the spiritual court. <clears throat> because there was supposed to be a union here, but they can't allow your, you know, your counterpart to be in this warlock this dark warlock, dark witch type energy where they're like doing weird spell and magic and whatnot to keep you from building a life with somebody else. Like they, they it can't work like that. You know, they, they can't allow that to continue. So what does this mean? What does this mean? Emperor, oh, Emperor and Justice with the Hermit. They're going to have to get on with it. Whoever this person is, they're going to have to get on with it. The The court, the spiritual court is not accepting what this individual is telling them. They're pulling up the life review stuff. They're, they're able to pull up everything and they're looking at what this individual has done behind the scenes. 
this is a betray like y'all going to be shown in the spiritual realm and the spiritual court they're going to show you they're they're going to pull up a screen out of thin air and they're going to be showing what this individual was getting up to they're going to ask you know explain yourself explain what 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 were you thinking what were you doing here you knew you signed a contract here with leo what 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 was going on what was going through your mind why did you do this it's like this individual is just, they're not like all they're going to do is bow their head and shake. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. The Six of Pentacles begging energy, almost like they're they're pleading for some type of mercy or something. But then they're going to ask, why are you trying to restrict Leo? You know, what's that all about? If you don't want to offer commitment. Yeah, Five of Cups, this individual is being put to shame. So then they're being told to either rebuild and offer Leo a brand new beginning and make up your mind with this and bring the offer that Leo deserves or keep it moving forward with this Queen of Swords karmic energy. You know, keep keep moving forward with what you have decided to move forward with. Like this is this is what they're telling them. But but they're saying, you know, that they cannot restrict you. They cannot hold your life back just because they don't want to see you in the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with somebody else. How does that make sense? How, how does that... Somebody explain how that even makes sense. Somebody wants to hold you back because they don't want to see you happy with somebody else, but then they are with a karmic energy. It's really giving. They just want you as like the side dude or the side chick. Like that that that's what it's really giving. Like they want to be able and they want you to be grateful that you are the side dude, that you are the side chick, that you are getting the leftovers. Like this individual is sick. They're sick. They they are long gone, y'all. They've been consumed by whatever poison the karmic has. They they they've been consumed by that. This this is somebody that's sick. Two of Cups and the Five of Swords, yeah. Like, like, run, okay? Go through the spiritual course session, speak your peace, and let bygones be bygones, because I feel like once it's all said and done, they'll, they'll deal with this individual separately. They'll send you on your way, and then they'll deal with this individual. Am I correct with this assessment, Spirit? Yep, Five of Pentacles. This individual is going to have to deal with their karma. And that's just it. The spiritual court is going to make the ruling here. They already know what they're going to decide here based on the evidence. But these angelic beings, they need to hear straight from the two of you. So you guys are going to be in spiritual court. Spiritual court is in session. And they're going to be asking, you know, what happened? Why did the two of you come into union? You signed this spiritual contract. What occurred here? What 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 caused this? They're asking questions. Nobody else is going to be there. They may bring the karmic in, but I, I feel for the most part it's between the two of you because there was a divine contract here. I don't see that anymore, though. Like, this individual is having to accept that they're never going to have the love that they... Like, it's just so weird because they always wanted that love from you. But that's what I'm getting. Like, they just want to take, take, take and never give back to you. Like, this is somebody that's just in their ego. Yeah, the hidden. I, look, look they, they know. They know about y'all's divine connection and mission. The hidden and higher power. They know, but they just chose to look, to leave it up in the air. And take a risk elsewhere with the dice. After a lot of thinking, they, they chose. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> yeah, th this masculine. This masculine chose. They learned about it. The learning card wanted to come out and so did the good health. It fell back into the deck. Yeah, the learning and the good health. Yeah, they, they, they learned about it, but at what cost? Because it seems like it's too late for that. Yeah, the wheel and, and, and death. I'm telling y'all, that's over. The angels are not going to allow this. Because there has been enough waiting. And they 
you're not supposed to be in isolation right now, love. You're supposed to be in some type of union with somebody. This is why the angels are calling spiritual judgment. They they can't they can't allow this to continue. So spiritual court is going to be in session. You're going to be summoned, Leo. Don't be scared. But you need to answer honestly. You you can't you know you can't lie to the spiritual court. You know, if you if you try to cover for this twin flame, you deserve your fate. You know, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say it how it is. If you try to cover for this fallen counterpart after they did you like this, you deserve your fate. You know, like you deserve that karma, that judgment that they're gonna dish out to you for, you know, lying to them in, in a spiritual universal court. This is not a light matter, y'all. This is serious. This is an issue. It is a problem. Because there was a clear plan that the two of you were going to embark on once you cross paths with each other to assist in the transition of this, of this planet into a 5D dimension. And this plan did not come into fruition. But it's going deeper because I'm really getting like a lot of timelines coming to a complete end for a lot of different beings in this universe, in this creation, and they're time traveling and they're, you know, they're looking and it's, they're tracing it back over here to this planet, to this realm, to this dimension. And it is a grave concern to them. You know, we're, ta we're talking about the literal annihilation of this universe, of existence. Like, this is a grave concern to all parties of the light, and they are having to investigate. They have to do an investigation here. Because what I'm really getting here is you and your counterpart coming together, it would have assisted in the transition into 5D New Earth. It would have assisted. We, we, we wouldn't be, I'm really getting, like, the Earth wouldn't be what it is today. Like the shift was supposed to occur sometime around 2021. Is what I'm getting. Bridge. That bridge was supposed to be crossed a long time ago. We were already supposed to be in the 5D New Earth. So if, this, if I'm reading this correctly, this person right here, they're in massive trouble. Big trouble. It's really giving purgatory and maybe sometime in the lower hell dimensions. You know, you need not think about another lifetime. I don't think it's another lifetime. I think it's going to be eons before you see this person again. Honestly, because they, they jeopardized. Oh my goodness. They, I don't even want to tap into it anymore. Like they really jeopardized the universal existence. The unseen, they didn't see the blessing right there. They did. They did. They just chose to leave it in, in in the astral realm. That's what they did. So this individual, that that's why they're also getting after this, because this individual is all up in your energy in the astral in the five D, but then here in the three D, it's crickets. Oh no, this this court hearing is long overdue. And this person, they're in big trouble, y'all. Y'all, y'all don't want no parts. Answer, answer the court honestly, Leo. A answer them honestly. Don't, don't try to lie or no, don't, don't, t you know, don't take up anything for this individual. They did what they did, you know, and it is what it is at this point. But they're not going to allow this to continue with this individual obsessively lashing onto your energy. And doing all types of weird spell work and whatnot to keep you from having a victory with somebody else. Like it's just it's this is narcissism. This is a narcissist. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and like. Take care.